This is part 7 of Anatomy of Flowering Plants. In this part, we will be discussing about the most important topic that is secondary growth in dicot stem. Secondary growth in dicot stem. The increase in thickness or that is known as the increase in girth is due to the activity of the cambium and the cork cambium and it is known as secondary growth. Okay. So, next is secondary growth in stem happens due to the activity of cambium and cork cambium and it involves two steps that is activity of cambium and activity of cork cambium. So, let's discuss about the activity of cambium. The vascular cam cambium in between xylem and phloem is called the intrafascicular or fascicular cambium which is primary in origin and the time of uh, uh, secondary growth what happens parenchymatous cells of medullary ray between the vascular bundles become meristematic and form strip of cambium called as intrafascicular cambium which is secondary in origin. So both inter and intrafascicular cambium join together and form cambium ring which is partly primary and partly secondary in origin. By anticlinal divisions what happened? The circumference of the cambium increase. By periclinal division cambium produced uh, the secondary xylem and phloem tissue on inner side and outer side. So the amount of secondary xylem that is produced due to the activity of cambial ring is 8 to 10 times greater than secondary phloem. So let's uh, try to understand this complete concept in a very uh, short way, very simple way. So I am going to make, let me take uh, this, this is a stem, okay. So this is a stem of a plant like this, it's having roots. Okay, this is the stem. If we look inside the stem, what we will find? This is phloem and after phloem we have xylem. Okay, and so let me name them. This is phloem. And this one is xylem. And in between xylem and phloem, we have 